on the sideline here. Hey, Mike Stranford. He's very cheerleaders down there. Getting warmed up. And the Ipswich Theater is across the stadium built back in the 30s with some WPA money. Along with some of the other stadiums in the area, Haverhill Stadium, Manning Bowl. Same time Ipswich built their high school back in 36. Down on the um, river. So Stay tuned for Tiger football. This is ACP Sports coming to you from Landry Field. Oh, Landry Stadium, I guess I could say. The head coach of uh, Amesbury, Ted Flaherty, a Ipswich graduate, and a phys ed teacher here at Amesbury, and now the head coach in his second year. Had a pretty good season last year, but this year he graduated after graduating several seniors finding it very difficult to win some ball games here, so I'm sure he's looking for an upset here over his old coach. He beat him, I think last year or the year before, I can't remember. So stay tuned. This is ACP Sports. Captain Greg Dorman, number 82, Craig Wallet, and number 88, Matthew Kittlick. The defensive lineup for Amesbury. Uh, Amesbury is getting ready to uh, come on. At defensive field. end, number eight, Dan Blancott. Uh, at we'll cornerback, number 18, Captain, Captain John Labica. At safety, number 20, Mark Fournier, Kate Osmontis. And uh, we're ready for the uh, whistle here. There it is. Bouncer. Ball picked up by Peter Monson. Number 56. John Godfrey on the stop. Indians have the ball first and 10 on their own 30 yard line. All right, 88 comes foot to this side. They have motion, they throw out in the flat. Pass to play to Kevin Ridley. I'll tell you, it's great for the tight end. It's a tight end down in the flat. So, big game for the first play from Stanley. Andy Workman in on the stop. Andy has had a first and ten on the hip switch. Cornerbacks didn't react very well to that one. 37. So, um, all the way down to the 37 yard line. What's this play? High formation. Straight ahead. That was a deep tackle on the line. Deep tackle got a few. Rick Rolf on the quarterback sneak. Cat motion is just widening that, that back into that side just a little bit. Second down and about seven. Pick up about two or three yards, and that's about it. Yes, they are. Motion to this side. Looking to throw. And they drop it. So he's hit, but he's getting it. So the Tigers have to um, tighten up on their defense here. Seven. 
Motion to the side. He's dropping back. He's looking. He wants to go long. And almost intercepted. Fourth and seven. The ball is still on the 30. Come on, Indian! 34 yard line. They pitch it, they come up, and they drop it for a wall. Oh, they hit! They won a late hit. Just before the whistle blew. If we have the ball for it, they came up and made sure he stayed down. So that could have been very possible if it was a late hit. So the Tigers take over. They're starting on the 30-something yard line, 34 maybe. Inside, can hand off to Green. Well, that's my tally, I think. He comes to the outside and... Fidelli on the carry, Tina Montes on the stop.
Okay, they send Rans into the right. Motion on Vitaly's part, looking, throwing out in the flat. He's got Vitaly. Pass complete to Vitaly, number 28. So uh, somebody missed the, uh, an assignment, so Vitaly going in motion. Picks up some yardage, but it's going to be fourth and... Fourth down and four. Seven comes left. Hand off to Bedard. Ball carry by number 41, Matthew Bedard. For the first down. down. To about the 10 yard line for another first down. Black Fournier in on the stop. So the play comes in from the sideline. It's which has a first and 10 on the aim, 3 11. Green goes to the right, Bedard's in the backfield along with them. Motion on Vitaly, give to... Number 24, Russell Green on the carry. Peter Mosses and Kevin Ridgely in there on the stop. Second down, four. Second and four, right outside the five. No score. 5.46 remaining in the first quarter. Workman in motion, give to Bedard. He tries to go outside, cuts back in. Penalty flag on the field. And uh, looks like... Uh, that on the carry. They called motion. Illegal motion against uh, Ipswich. Uh, we don't quite know who was in motion. Uh, Workman stepped forward and then went to the right, which is legal. A second down and nine. Motion to this side. Give to Bedard straight ahead. Had to be down the carry. Number 72, Ken Perry on the stop. Third and six. Third and six. Got to get all the way down there to where Stoney is. One yard from the goal line. For the first down. They can get a first down without scoring. Roll on this side. Carpenter keeping it, trying to get outside. Peter Martz in on the stop. Matthew Carpenter on the carry. Fourth down five. So uh, this could be the field goal unit coming in. In. Looks like he's lining it up. <laughs> the snap, the kick, it's up and it's good. So the tie Andy Workman kick for the field goal. Four minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Ipswich three, Ainsbury zero. Receive right, range. Elliott, Tigers get on the board. He's going to double team with Moss. right behind him. Four forty two. Get behind him. He's hurt. Who are all these people hurt? What's going on? He's got. We're going right to turn. He's got number four. Big block now. Big block. Okay, Workman. Get ready to kick off. There's the whistle. Another low kick. Oh, 
Austin lost this on the carry. And they bring it out to about the 30. Oh, Martha. Not too far. yard line. Nathan Nicholson in on the stop. Indians have the ball first and 10 on their own 32 yard line. Coach Foster coming out to pick up What's the, the team. So, injury. Indians take over. First and 10. They had a pretty good series of downs the first time they had the ball. 24 in motion, they pitch it back. Kevin Ridgely on the carry. Number 51. Sean Russo in on the stop. And a second down, seven. Four goes in motion again. They give it straight ahead, but no place to go, and he's dropped for a while. Ball carried by Dan Blackhart. Blackhart. Come on, Ned! Let's get some blocking! Lost about a yard and a half. Make a third down and long a short nine. That, tell them that Lynn got, got, didn't get an over and uh, Barrett never got there on the trap, and the guy was right through him. Okay, 18 comes wide to this side. Have 24 go in motion. The other way, he's dropping back, looking, throwing. He's got somebody open over the middle, and he's the ball! Up against the John and intercepted by number A little two. bit behind the runner, but he was Dylan there. Dylan the ball was there. Ipswich has the ball first and 10 on the 25. And um, the Tigers intercepted it. I don't know if it was working or who. So big break here for the Tigers. This should have been another completed pass. Motion to this side. Oh, oh, the ball. Get the ball. Oh, oh. And down he goes. I think they had a little bit of a collision with somebody back there. Big loss for the Tigers. Ipswich fumble recovered by Ipswich. The loss of the play make it uh, second down, 17. This is what killed us. He get like this. He give up a big play to give up a first down. <laughs> Motion. Motion, they give two workmen and slips. Head back to number 19, Andy Workman. Down to get some of the fourth and five. Watch the face! Watch the face! 
Almost a high snap. Whoa. And he almost blocked it. Way back. He grabs it on the five. And he's dropped on the five. Penalty flag on the field, taken by Kevin Ridgely. Dropping the kicker coming up. Dropping the kicker, they say. Yeah, dropping the kicker. I didn't see it because I was going downfield, but they almost blocked the punt. And that's what happens when you come in to try to block the punt. If you don't get the punt, sometimes you get the guy's foot. And that could have been running into the kicker rather than roughing the kicker. And I think that's what they did. Five yards, and it's the first time. We can't block punts. We can't block the practice. Roughing the kicker against the East Five yards. Yes, which has the first and ten on the Ames 35. Another, another Ames very mistake. Works in Ipswich's favor. But at least they were aggressive coming to the ball. Radzen comes to the side. Motion by Green. He's rolling. He's looking. He wants to throw. He's got somebody open. Bedard. That's complete to Bedard. Okay, the Amesbury side is kind of quiet. This has the first and ten on the 18 yard line of Amesbury. Bedard cuts outside and... Number 41, Matthew Bedard in the carry. Six yard line, so Bedard. John LaBaker in on the stop. Picking up some big yardage here early in the game. First and goal to go on the six. Taking a little while to send this play in. Clock is running. They're going to get penalized here. When he got 30 seconds to get this play off, officials probably looking at his watch. Cameron okay, got faked out again. Good faking. Put out on the carry. And that's the end of the quarter with the score of 3 0. The end of the first quarter, Ames 3, uh, Ames 3 0, Ipswich 3. And the Tigers are knocking on the door. Okay, so looks like it's second and six as we switch ends. And um, <laughs> I'm right see what the, um, the Tigers have in, the, in their bag of tricks here. Tight, wing left, tight, shift, unbalanced, they're going to go unbalanced, they're going to run to our left. Motion left, hand off to Green, cutting outside, trying to get back in, and it'll be third and six. Wing left, tight, shift, unbalanced. Be a good time to, to roll out this way and maybe uh, throw somebody breaking in the end zone. There it goes, seven. Razzin comes wide, right. Motion. So and he's rolling this way. Looking flat. Got somebody open. And he's in there. We didn't even adjust to the motion with the trips. That gives untouched the whole way. Here came in motion, and nobody's going with him to cover him, really. And uh, he's wide open for another touchdown. For eight Recognize. Let's see him. Nine nothing. Tigers line up for the extra point. They shift into it. Snap, it's up. I don't know why he 
This way they throw out in the flat and he drops the ball. Wide ball for crying out loud. Look at the opening that he had. Oh my god. Got a wide ball. Had he been able to catch it, he might have had a few more yards to pick up. Hold on, Eddie. We dropped three passes. Good catch. Third and Five or six. Yeah, we got. What's going to happen is that Marcus is going to go straight back into that corner, and the secondary just rotates over him. Motion to the side. He drops back. He's looking to throw. He's coming along. That's intended for Kevin Ridgely, incomplete. Fourth down, six. Fourth and six. He's going to bring up a punting situation. So Coach Flaherty coming over and talked to Ridgely. I mean, they're trying to isolate him to see if they can spring loose. Look at this, Bologna double cover. Two point even gets anywhere near the ball. And the ball is low snap, but it's on about the 45, and it's going to stop on about the 42 yard line. Called down by Dan Blanchard on the uh, 40 yard line. With eight minutes remaining in the second quarter, Tigers hand off to Carry. Not much there. Number 40, Kenny Jones, on the stop. We need someone for the beat. We need someone for the beat. Make it second down nine. And the player comes limping off the field. And he's, he's really hurt. Have an injured player on the field. So as they attend to him, we're going to take a break right here. Official time out. This is AC. Figure it out, Wes! Landry Stadium. The score 10-0. Hip switch. Over. In. Second and nine. Workman. Motion to Gage to Green, cutting back. Gets down to about the 40 yard line. Double Green on carry. Josh Barrett on the stop. First down for Ipswich on the 8 for 40. I'm blown. And I'm going to go away. What do you think? First down for the Tigers. Another inside handoff with no place to go that time. Valley on the carry. Can you carry in there on the stop? And McCauley also. Can you go? Went to the well too often. Second down, 12. 
we just got to go back to some power football straight ahead. Second and long, then this might be a passing down. Green in motion. They fake it. He rolled it. He's out of the carry. No place to go. And they carry on the stop. So, um, a couple nice series of um, defense by the Innsbruck Indians, but the Tigers are stifled right here. Third and a very obvious passing down now. Come on, Keith, don't let up! Carpenter trying to get outside, being chased, throws the ball, got him open, steps out of bounds, doesn't have the first down though. They probably go for it anyway, it's um, close enough. Fourth and no, uh, about four and a half yards. If we look over there, she's down He's very shifts. The handoff to Bedard, straight ahead, off tackle. So that shifting might have hurt Amesbury. They ran right where they shifted away from. because they're sitting in the shade. That's one time that the um, visiting team has the advantage. It's a kick to the, oh, knee almost hit the ground. thought the kid's knee touched the ground. We'll look at it on the replay when you did it. So you can look at it also if you tune in to Media One, Channel 3 or 9, catch these games. So that puts a little life into the Amesbury crowd over here. But um, no way that that should have gone for a touchdown, but uh, Amesbury will take it. They split them right. They're going for two. He's looking. He's still got the ball. 
Wow, he had a lot of time to throw. Somebody should have been in there. Pass intended for number 42, Josh Billy, incomplete. So the score was four minutes, five seconds remaining in the half. Ipswich 17, Amesbury 6. Hands, but maybe a little bit high, but he should have had it. 
154 remaining in the half. He's sprinting this side. He's looking. He's got some Take a hit! Working. Can't get over the 40 for the first down, but it's close enough to go for it. Four to four. Bingo. 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 No. Dyer doesn't have to come out anymore. Dyer doesn't have to come out anymore. Okay, it looks like um, Tigers will punt it away. It's a pretty good end over end kick and fielded coming down the sideline and taken out of bounds. Great job, Kev! 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 Great so, Coach, if you listen to my kick, should have gone for it. <laughs> I love the comedy. Look at it. Well, we put this on Media One, Channel um, 3 and 9. So all the sports fans back in Ipswich and Newburyport and Raleigh can pick it up. 88, what's left? Motion right. Oh, a little bobble and a snap. Here the rush is on. They throw it out. That's the play. Loss on the play. John Russo on the stop. Okay, what do we have for Time out of the field. Time out. It's uh, under a minute to go. By Spinny, by ball. Shift it to the slot that time. Shift it to the 24 slot. 24 coming in motion this side. He's dropping back. He's looking. Throwing long. Almost intercepted. And. Pass intended for Austin Watson. Broken up by Dylan Durning. Pass interference. 88 wants it. But uh, Durning went high. They both went for the ball. And. Third down 13. The official is waiting for somebody to pick up the ball and um, got to go retrieve it himself. So. Um, it was um, nearly a long completion. <laughs> yeah, you see where it was on the last punt? Not even anywhere near it. Just to the slot again. 24 goes right. Motion right, I mean, and they throw it. Nobody there. Where are That's the Johnny Hawkins complete. And this guy over here looked like he was open a little bit. down 13. Grab Tasman right now as he comes out. So you got to move your feet, brother. Now Andrew is going to punt the ball with 40 some odd seconds to go oh, in the half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Give the ball back to the Tigers with uh, maybe about That's 30 seconds to go. Coming after it. They're probably going to send them in. See if they can go for the block. The rush is on. And he gets it away. And he lets it roll, and it goes all the way back to uh, the 30, and it stops. Mark Ponya downs the ball on the uh, Ipswich 31. So 34 seconds to go. The Tigers. Ipswich will have the ball first and 10 from their own 31. We'll see if they'll go for a play, or they'll just um, run out the clock. Take a knee. Bedard gets the the carry. almost to the 44-yard line. And with timeout, 26 Kenny seconds. Kenny Jones, you know the stop. Timeout on the field, Ipswich. They're going to talk it over, see what they're going to do. Ipswich has a first and 10 on their own 43. We're there with Coach Welsh and Foster. So let's see what they can do with 26 seconds remaining in the first half. They're leading 17 to 6. So the play was called on the sideline. Come on, Pete! Come on! Stand up and strip him! Strip, strip, strip! He's rolling. He's looking.
looking. He's got somebody open. They've passed lateral and it's fumbled. Had he been closer, he might have been able to go quite a distance. That's completion number 87, Todd Ransom. So with 16 seconds to go. Time out on the field, Ipswich. Tigers take another timeout. Green to this side. Now he's in go motion. Monster. Carpenter looking, throwing long. Oh, Incomplete. Radzen. Radzen's in the receiver. Broken up by Kevin Richley. With nine seconds to go. Third down four. Probably have enough for one more pass play. Okay, Bedard brings him up to the line. Radzen comes wide over to the side. He's looking, he's throwing. He's got somebody open, and they've Lateral to the side and Green trying to get out of bounds. Should be the half. No Hopefully time the on the half. clock, Hopefully and that may do it. On the stop. Russell Green on the carry. And that's the end of the half. So the score. Seven score at halftime. Ipswich 17, Ainsbury 6. Big. Not a bad spiral there, Rick. The uh, freshman. Defeated Amesbury yesterday. We're not quite sure what the score was. By two or three touchdowns. So as we await the varsity, stay tuned. This is ACP Sports coming to you. From All the proceeds go towards the stadium lighting fund. Bring on the Indians. So this time that I have is wrong. I'd right. uh, also like to call your attention to the third annual Save Our Stadium dance being held next Saturday, November 6th at the Beach Club in Salisbury from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Hope you go to the stadium when you watch Save Our Stadium or like to know that the stadium is completely renovated next year, starting in the late spring or early summer. Into the field, and uh, they're leading 17 to 6. Let's we'll see if the uh, Injury Indians have made some adjustments here at halftime. Stay tuned. So uh, the captains are there at midfield for the. And the Tigers will receive. So um, stay tuned. We'll be ready for some football action. This is ACP Sports coming out from Landry Stadium. As you heard, they're going to do a dance to try to renovate the stadium. And uh, November 6th at the Beach Club, you can see where the stadium over there is a little bit disrepaired. This stadium was built back in the 30s, so it's a, it's a grand old stadium. And it's a nice stadium to preserve. But it does cost money, so um, any contributions anybody wants to make to this stadium benefit would be appreciated. Kicking off for Avery, number eight, Dan Blankot. Get those dancing shoes on. Team to receive, number two, Dylan Journey, and number 24, Russell Green for Ipswich. Number eight. Ready to kick off. Here's a lefty. Pretty good boot. Durning cuts to the outside. Gets out to about the 30, so a good return. He probably grabbed that ball back around the five. And he jumped. So again, Blank out in the stop. 25. Oh, Ipswich did a holding call. And that's going to penalize him uh, 10 yards. So we don't know who the hold was on, but... 
Diamond, first and ten on their own 16. We'll look at it on the replay. 50-50 raffle ticket, green ticket, number one, one, three, six, six, five, six. For a $230. Well, after this play, I'll have to see if I won the, um, the raffle. Ball's on the ground. We'll bubble on the field. Ball's on the field. Ball's on the field. Ball's on the ground. down for the Indians. 24 right. motion. Contact by the Family flag. Oh. Come on, Sam. 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 Come Okay, they split them out, wide right. Motion 24, sets in the eye. They pitch it. Okay, Second and a short two. Oh my God, you can do it! Never originally on the carry. Close to the first down. Very close. First down. First down. The Indians are moving. First down on the 15. Twenty four comes walking this way. And they pitch it to twenty four and they're waiting for him. And they hammer him. Big loss. So they're trying to set up Ridgely, but they drew a crowd. They call that a money. Back and down 15. Oh, what's the call? Second and 15. 88, wide right. 30, split right. I formation. Ball. And um, what's the play down. there? They recovered the fumble, so it's going to be a third and 15. Motion right. 
They throw to the right. They got him open in the flat. Let him catch it! Fourth, the Indians are going the wrong way. They sort it up on the bounty. Eleven. On the 16 yard line. Now they're back to the 23. Fourth and a long 17 yards. 88 goes wide left. 24 flinks right, goes right, dropping back, wants to throw right into the arms of a Tiger. 24 green trying to go down the sideline, but number eight to beat. That well, runs him. And just like that. Yes, we touched down. Number 24, Russell Green. Russell Green turned on the Jets. Down the sideline, number eight had a chance to tackle him, couldn't catch up to him. Once he got by him, he was gone to pay dirt. So uh, the Indians were moving pretty good there, and then they ran into a couple rough downs. So the referee is talking to a couple of the Ipswich players here. So as they line up for the extra point, the score is 26 to, I mean 23 to six, and Workman. Ready to kick the extra point. Dustin Zabowski, the holder, the kick is up, and it is good. So the score. Workman's kick is good. Ipswich, and the fans on the Ipswich side really came to life on that nifty intersection by Russ Green and scampered down the sideline. I thought for sure he's going to get knocked out of bounds over around the 40 or 30 anyway. But uh, once he got by, stayed in bounds and went the distance. So he had to be like a 90 yard touchdown. 90 or 80, right? Touchdown return, so stay tuned. Okay, we got somebody on the other side there with the megaphone trying to get the Tiger fans into it. remaining in the third. Workman set. He bangs it low. Ridgely catches it on the run. And he's nailed. Devin Ridgely on the carry. So they're trying to keep the ball away from Ridgely and everybody else let it bounce until Ridgely... Andy Workman on the stop. And he brings the ball it back first to about the 30 something and they're talking with the... They have a penalty flag on the field. A, offside again. Penalty over there, offside, so let's see if they're going to make him kick it over. Oh, it's declined. It's declined. They're going to take, take the right ball there. first and 10. The 38 yard line. A 33 yard line, rather. Sometimes that's a smart move. Just take it where it is. I was doing uh, the freshman game in Gloucester the other day, and there was offside on Gloucester. They made him kick over. Lynn English kicked to Kevin Ridgely on the carry. Gloucester, and the guy scampered down the sideline for a touchdown. So sometimes you're, you're better off just letting the ball go where it is. Coach Foster. Number 51, Sean Russell on the stop. Team. Second down, seven. Second and six. Get three on the last play. Got hit in the backfield. I think he hit his own man. J. 
jumps over a couple tacklers and penalty flags all over the place. Another Kevin Ridgely on the carry. Penalty flag behind the play between number eight and eighty-eight. Official time out of the field. Three flags. With penalty time. flags everywhere. Let's see what that is all about. Another flag over there. I don't know if I recall seeing that many flags on one play. All four. Four flags on the field, four officials. Everybody threw a flag. So while they try to figure this out, holding. Holding against the entry. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Ipswich. So, we're going to move them back. So, the Amesbury cheerleaders are trying to put some life into the Amesbury team here. Trailing 24-6. Ball's going to end up on the 39-yard line. Second down and about three. Well, we almost need a calculator to figure this one out. So it's second and three after all that. Up that center nicely. Third down two. Third and two. Ridgely in motion, they throw out to the flat to number 30, and he misses the ball. And they were saying that that was a lateral. Pass was intended for Johnny Hawk. It looks like it was a ruled a pass to me up here, but the officials down there. Ruled a fumble, apparently. Said that they threw it to the side, but. If which has the ball. Number 30 didn't even bother going for the ball once it hit the ground, which he should have. So, this which has the first and ten on the uh, 29 yard line of aim three. Okay, he split right, hands off just as he got hit. And there's a little extra going on down there. Matthew was Adam Carey. With 77, Troy Burrell to break it up. So, uh, no gain on the play. Second and ten. Russo, 51, comes back in. Same formation. They pitch it to Workman, and he slips. Penalty flag. Ball carried by Andy Workman. And there's a flag. Holding. Holding against the Ipswich. Call will bring him back 10 more yards. Come on, T, let's pick that off. Second down, 25. 
Carpenter looking to throw. Got somebody open over here. Pass complete to number 87, Tom Ratham. John Wilbeaker in on the stop. Third down about 16. All right, 56 and 19 come back in. Taking too much time here. Come on, big pressure now, Lane. Third and 16. Half a dot on the carry. The guard straight ahead. Uh, the boss is in on the stop. And Workman lost his helmet here as he puts a block on somebody. So I wonder if they're going to go for the field goal here. They place it on about the 29 yard line. It's going to be four. Fourth down nine. Nine. They're talking to Vitaly. They're sending them in. So they're going to go for it. Come on, big stop. If it were a close game, I think they would have gone for the field goal. But had they gone for it, they blocked it. They back for touchdown. So they didn't want to take that chance. And he rolls right, looking, throwing, and got the first down. Radzen. Pass to uh, Tom Radzen. And the flag, that would have to be a late hit. Number eight with a late hit, I think. Penalty flag on the field. Let's see what the umpire calls. Personal, Personal foul against the entry. So Radzen made a nice catch, and then um, as they went to tackle him, they pushed him forward a little bit, and then uh, there was a late hit. We assume it was number eight, but we're not quite sure. If such has a first and goal to go on the inside the ten nine yard line. The dart straight ahead, and he's in there. Ipswich touchdown, number 41, Matt Bedard. Matt Bedard makes the score of 30, 30 to 6. So the uh, line up front blocking and uh, creating some holes, working to tee it up. The snap is high, Dustin gets it down, the kick is up, and it's good. Workman's kick is good with a minute and 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It's switch 31, and 3 6. So this is ACP Sports, we're going to take a break right here. Okay, working ready. There's the whistle. Johnny Hawks with the carry. Nice return. Tom Bradson on the stop. 33 or 32 yard line. Indians have the ball first and 10. They're on 32. Men and 24 remaining in the third. Ainsbury trying to get something going. They pitch it back. He breaks to the outside. Got some running room, and he's hit. Kevin Ridgely on the carry. Short of the 35. 
So it looks like he uh, might have picked up... 28, David Italian, stop. Long way just to pick up three yards. Pick up a three, second down, seven. You got to go wide because they can't go up the middle. It's a tough group in the middle there. Remaining in the third. Let's see if they can get this playoff. And they start. Okay, by Kevin Richley. So as time runs out in the third, we'll have to switch ends and um, looks like it's going to be a fourth and a stop. Russell Green. Three yards, so. The score is. The end of the third quarter, Ipswich 31, Ames 36. So as they switch in, we'll take a break. Stay tuned. So we get ready for the um, fourth quarter. Amesbury um, faced with a fourth and three situation. Are they going to go for it or are they going to punish? They uh, look like they may punt it away. Let's we'll see if uh, the Tigers come to the block. There's a snap. Nice kick. Green with the catch. And lost his footing and goes down. So first and ten for the Tigers on about the 30. I take my run with Green. Brought down on the 33 yard line. Yes, which has the ball first and 10. One quarter of football remaining. Beautiful Saturday morning. Motion, a pitch, and Green. Russell Green on the carry. Just around the corner and picks up and he jumps maybe four yards. Stop. Russell down to the ground. Second in. Five. Okay, the A's very bad. To our right down here. Doing a nice job. They pitch it to Workman this side. He runs into a couple of guys who just bowls his way through. And he works on the carry. Punishing some tacklers as he goes forward. First out. Workman, a pretty good sized kid. Kept his footing that time. Kenny Peter Watson in on the stop. Workman's over there talking to the coach now. Straight ahead, Bedard. Matt Bedard on the carry. Pick up a three. Second down, seven. Pitch to Workman again, but no place, oh, carry by Andy Workman. no place to go this time. The same Barry play. Barrow, Kenny Jones, the other end of the stop. 
They got a lot of room out to the left side of the field, maybe a rollout or a waggle type pass. Third and six. Come on, third down, hold them here. Green lines up to the side. Inside handoff. He gets over the 45. But they're about two yards short of the first down. Got to get to right there. You see Schultz hiding behind the downs marker. Fourth and three. Just about seven minutes to go in the game. Come on, linebackers, fill those holes. The ball is on the ground and fumbled, and they probably would have had the first down, but um, the ball is going to be turned over. Come on, Austin. It'll be Amesbury ball. And he's got the ball first and ten of their own twenty-five. Okay, they have threes split to the right, and there was movement. Where's the flag? There it is. There was two or three guys. Manually flag before the snap. So that'll move them back five. Ted looking over the play selections here. Not too many plays have worked too well today, but. He graduated about 11 seniors last year, so this is a, a rebuilding year. Motion to this side. They want to see if they can set up originally. They keep looking at him, and they take him down, and these guys are covered down here. So they kept looking at Ridgery the whole time. Trying to turn the corner. They come up. He breaks loose. Kevin Ridgely on the carry. Pick up of about Tom seven or eight yards. Fourth down and 17. 